thing is uh, the, 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 the key to a, a man's heart is his stomach, right? You feed him right. That's what they say. I think uh, a lot of politicians, and, and I, I think I understand where this comes from, the key to uh, getting the attention of American voters is make them laugh. Uh, if you can make them laugh, they, you'll get their attention and maybe you'll raise some money while you're doing it. Uh, presidential candidate RFK Jr. has a, a night of laughter. In fact, that's the name of the event, a night of laughter with RFK Jr. and friends. It's happening here in L.A. on Wednesday night and some big names there, including Mr. Kennedy's wife, Cheryl Hines, who we've spoken to before about the campaign. And we are pleased to say that they are both joining us right now to talk about this event. Uh, welcome to TMZ Live. Hey, guys. Hi, Thank guys. You, Ari. Thank you, Charles. Yeah, the, the comedians who are coming next Wednesday night are Tim Dillon, Rob Schneider, Mike Binder, Bobby Lee, Dustin Ibarra, Adam Carolla, Eric Rhodes, and, uh, and some very, very exciting surprise guests who don't want to be announced in advance. So is this um, comedy laced with politics? I hope not. <laughs> 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 I'm hoping it's just comedy, but I'm sure it will look, probably it could go good. badly either way. I mean, it is fun to make fun of politics, so maybe. It's <laughs> going to be a big event, and uh, obviously, um, with the final season of Curb underway, um, everyone expecting and looking for possibly some laughs from Mr. Larry David, who obviously, uh, for folks who don't know, actually introduced you guys, right? That is true. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Bobby had been friends with Larry for a long time, and and then we, yeah, we just met, not with the intention that, oh, you guys should meet, but he introduced us. When I decided that I needed to date Cheryl, I actually went up, he was shooting in Curb, a Curb in New York that season, and I went up to the, it was the Lowe's Hotel, and met him about 10 o'clock in the evening and got and asked him permission to date his television wife. So. <laughs> Wait a minute, what'd he say? What'd he say? He said he was really happy that um, Cheryl was the best human being that he'd ever met, that she was the um, only person in the, she was beloved in the industry. She was the only person in Hollywood who didn't have a single enemy. That's what he told me. And then he told Cheryl, uh, ah, it's never gonna work. Something like that. <laughs>